Beautiful day out again today. I'll finally show you them windmills I was talking about. Oh, or is that just a tower? They're along here somewhere. I guess the light isn't right to see them. Anyways. Let's see back out. Just uh, out in the shop again. Wearing a hat today for a change. My head is too big for hats. If you see, this is like maximum full openness. And the fucking thing still barely fits me. My head is too big. <laughs> it's too big for hats. But, uh, yeah, it just came out the shop. Uh, the old man's coming over. He's taking me to Crappy tomorrow, for, or today for my birthday tomorrow. So, I'm going to get my uh, compressor here all unhooked and discombobulated and stuff and ready to go back in uh, or ready to go in so I can get it uh, warranty repaired I guess and uh, other than that I don't know what I'm going to get up to today um, still really stoked on this rim I think this is an excellent turnout for what it is I had to uh, down the bottom there, it pooled up a bit, but I painted that out. It's taken a while to pet dry because it's supposed to be, it says keep it plus 10 for 24 to 48 hours, and well, it might have been plus 10 in here last night when I started, but it sure as hell ain't now. So, <laughs> she might take a little longer, but uh, I've heard that paint cures better if... Uh, if it takes a while, like obviously if it starts freezing, I don't think it's going to be quite as good, but we'll see. It's not that cold here, because the moisture isn't freezing to the windows. God, this squeegee sucks. That's what I get for buying a dollar store squeegee, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there we go. You can see it the window, kind of. But yeah, just up to that, and this, and that, and the other thing, so, you know, uh, I got this thing online now, seeing, uh, I've got a couple offers already, but, uh, one guy wants to trade me a snowblower, another guy wants to trade me a snowmobile, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, you know, either or is tempting, snowblower's nice, because, you know, it's a snowblower, but I do have the plow, pretty much ready to go. So, I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. I wouldn't mind a snowmobile. A snowmobile would be fine because I'd rip it around for a bit. and Then I could also, you know, probably end up selling it for a profit, which was what I'd end up doing in the long run. Because before winter was over, because really I don't, you know, they're not a very practical toy to have. Especially around here. Around here we don't usually get that much snow. I mean, it's December 29th. We're still yet to have snow. The ground's not even frozen here yet. It's still above freezing. So maybe in the next week or so we might get some snow. But even then, you know, that's... we. You know, if we had a winter like last year, sure. But this ain't last winter, so... But, uh, yeah, I wonder if I can see the other windmill from here now that... Just give me a second here. Camera on backwards. So, yep. I can see it with the naked eye, but can I zoom into it? Gonna be able to see past that water. I guess that's kind of a good thing, though. I can zoom in and oh, I kind of see through the water now. It's right up on the hill here somewhere. Changed 
the light's not just right. You can't see the damn thing. Oh, there it is. Shit, I lost it. There. There's that windmill. So hard to see. I love this tripod. Makes things so much nicer. I think it makes it stabler when I'm carrying my camera too, so I'm trying to make more videos while I'm holding on to it. Anyways, I gotta get this compressor apart because my dad's soon gonna be here and he'll want to go. So I'll talk to you after. Like my new car boys. I got and brought her home today. Let me see. Uh, listen how quiet it is. It's one of the quieter vehicles I've ever owned. But uh, yeah, just uh, decided this morning, you know, I had a couple dollars in my pocket. Thought it'd be easier to just buy her out and get the work done. She's kind of unsure about when she wanted to get the work done. Because uh, money's, you know, money restrictions and whatnot. So I said, screw it. So $150 and a door, a bit of door trim later, her uh, door sweep. What am I Weather stripping, that's the word I'm trying to use. A little bit of weather stripping and uh, $150 later and I got this fucking car. Look at this, nice fucking mags on her, aluminum mags. Front and back, all the way around. Front tires are pretty good, the back's not so good, but that's okay, check this out. That's right, it comes with four more tires. Four winners, two are studded. So that's a fucking bonus. You see here, here's the damage. It's a little puckered up there in the front. is not really on there very good. But that's all getting replaced. I got all the parts that came with the car. Inside of here, I got a new bumper, new uh, supports for the interior of the bumper, and a new hood. So I'll have to get those put on. And uh, she's even still inspected. I couldn't believe that. She's still good till, you know, another six months. That kicks ass. But yeah, she's I'm pretty impressed, boys. Pretty impressed. I haven't checked to see if it's working or not, but I'm sure most of it is. Nice car. No real rust on it that I can see, except for down, 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 down. There's a little bit down there in the bottom lip, but I can clean that up, gravel guard that. That'll be all good. Desperately needs, so you can't see it this, but desperately needs a cleaning. Let's see if I can get my flashlight over here. Yeah, that helps me. Yeah, not too much. But anyways, she desperately needs a cleaning, but one problem I'm having out of all of them is uh, the battery's dead. She, the woman I got it from, uh, took a bunch of stuff out of it when I, uh, or like when she stopped driving and got another car and uh, when she decided to sell it she just hauled her stuff out well she didn't realize but uh, the rear hatch there you know that thing wasn't shut all the way and uh, all the, her, you know the dome light stayed on it just fucking killed the battery it was stone cold dead when I tried it but I started it there and uh, well I have an excited puppy so I guess my video is over There's a good start. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed, boys. Runs like a dream. The only weird problem is, if you saw my other video, the gauges don't work. So, once I shut it off here in a few minutes, I'm going to start investigating that. Take a few uh, meter readings. See if this battery's any good. 
I'm going to start charging it. That's why I left it running. It's still running now. I've had it running for about 20 minutes or so. Just trying to put a little bit of a little bit of a charge into the battery. Alternator chargers are always the best. But yeah, gotta love it. I noticed even the car's got a uh, a tow hitch and uh, trailer wiring. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of got a lot of neat stuff. It's got a CD player, cruise control, AC. Like I said, basically a little bit of quick work, good cleaning, and I think this will be a quick flip. Be able to make myself some money, 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 money. So this is the crappy tire birthday haul. I uh, can't say I'm overly impressed with the warranty for my compressor because i got to take it into the city, to the other side of the city, to a, some repair place for them to repair it. I guess some authorized repair center to repair it. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. I might end up just doing it myself, but that's another story. Anyways, uh, my father took me to Canadian Tire to have that done and decide to buy me some birthday presents basically everything we grabbed <laughs> but I got myself a couple buckets of uh, good old fast orange waterless hand cleaner got a nice little uh, boot patch kit 103 piece kit which is uh, be good to patch all kinds of tires with be nice to have I'm going to use that to uh, do what I can to patch the inside of the tire, the tractor tire, before I put that on. This is just for the uh, house. I gotta put that in uh, where I put the vanity in, but I thought this was the best deal. These two came together as a set. I must be selling off old stock, but you can see it's a uh, 60 bucks. And uh, 150 is sold separately, and you know it's a flush cut saw with 102 pieces, and a basically a Dremel kit, which also has 101 pieces. So, anyways, um, I'm going to tear these open here in a second. I'm interested to see what's in there. Um, but yeah, 60 bucks for the two of them. They had these, the newer version, I think, that were 2.2 amps, but they only came with like 10 pieces. And they were on sale for $50. And that's what I grabbed at first, and then I saw these, and I was like, well, fuck, why would I want that? Now, I don't know if that newer model's any better, because this thing looks alright. And, you know, we'll see. It's got three-year warranty, so, you know, I'll probably have to take it to get repaired somewhere, for fuck's sakes, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if I can't tear these boxes open. Set up my tripod here. <coughs> Set it up over here, that way I can see what's going on more easily. There. Alright. So let's see what we get with this rotary tool. Tape on there? Nope. Well packed. All right. The paperwork, care. Oh, nice. All kinds of blades. That's fucking sweet. So, get this blade here. Wood blade. Soft metal blade, I guess like copper. I don't know what this is? That's some crazy. I guess it's some kind of sanding rig. Another bigger wood blade. Another sanding rig. A round wood blade. That's pretty cool. And two scrapers. That's pretty cool. Oh fuck, there's all kinds more. I'm not even going to take these out of the bag, but... Oh wow. Check that out, there's uh, all these little kind of ironing shoe guys for this uh, 
sander. That's cool. That's really cool. Definitely is those. And then I guess the rest of the main tool itself. Looks, looks like a good enough rig. The other one actually didn't have, like this is metal, cast metal in the end. The other one I was looking at didn't even have that. It wasn't even cast metal. So it was all plastic all the way around. Sweet. That's an awesome flush cut saw. So that's pretty cool. I would have had that when I put that vanity in. But that's okay. Oh yeah. I found these in the uh, car I just bought. So, I assume this to have some kind of... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's something here. It's pretty plastic. So what do we got in here? We got your Dremel tool. I'll just leave that in there. Bunch of sanding drums. These cutoff wheels? No, it's honing compound. Looks to be. Interesting. Oh, this is cut off wheels though. Sweet. It's got to be 50 or 100 in there. Which is good because you need about 20 to cut a nail. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a diamond tipped. I'm sure it's not diamond, but maybe cobalt or something. Or whatever that shit is they put on that stuff. A little sharpening stone. Round stones, buffing wheels. That's gonna be handy. I like buffing stuff up, polishing up some aluminum with that, I think. But yeah, you see, it also comes with uh, it's got a couple brass steel brush or you know, wire brushes, and then a couple steel ones, and your burring bits. Your stupid st stones that always seem to break every time you use them. And, or wear out. And these other stones, different size collars and everything. That's fucking awesome. That's an awesome set, I think. 60 fucking dollars for a flush cut saw and a Dremel set. Like, how can you fucking go wrong, right? <laughs> That's kick ass. I mean, it may not be the highest quality shit, but... Oh, God. Knees suck. Whoa, this is interesting. never thought I can actually do my... Do, like, a perspective thing with this. There we go. Check that out. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Much better perspective. Better than me, you know, standing, holding it myself. Just there. Bring it back to here. I think I'll uh, try this for a while. Definitely catches more of the scene, less of my head. Though my big head takes the whole shot. But anyways, uh, my battery's flashing. This is a video. Hope you like it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have fun.